Well, we love the arts in Boise and especially music festivals like Tree Four, but there's a new music festival that'll be taking place in the Treasure Valley this weekend and it is sure to make you flip. So we have with us Eric and Megan from the Flipside Music Festival to tell us all about this new opportunity to go out and get our music fill, if you will, right? Absolutely. Okay, so the Flipside Music Festival, how this come about? Not like you don't have enough that you're already doing with Tree Fort, right? Right, well, <laughs> I, I think a lot of it was um, in 2020 when we had to postpone the fest Tree Fort Music Fest so many yeah. times, we ended up in September of 2021 having Tree Fort and it was just such a wonderful experience. We wanted to kind of recreate it just over the river on the flip side of the river in like Garden that. City, yeah. Okay, cool, hence the name Flipside yeah. Music Festival. Okay, mm -hmm. so what can people look forward to this? Because we're all really familiar with Tree Fort, but what's Flipside gonna be like? Well, I think kind of like Tree Fort, it's a good opportunity to like, you know, with Tree Fort, you're kind of discovering downtown mm -hmm. Boise and new talent. This is a good opportunity to discover that the Sorrel Mitchell a live, work, create district in Garden City, which is cool, like Great. burgeoning arts dis arts district, mm -hmm. and a bunch of cool local bands and regional, national, and international bands that'll be coming in for this this weekend. All right, yeah. so we got some reach then on this one too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love yeah. it, and yeah. I do like the fact too that you get to explore a really upcoming space in yeah. Treasure Valley, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We really encourage pe pe people to ride their bikes down. It's very bikeable, it's right off the Green Belt and the, like rivers. Be lots of bike bike parking and stuff. So, okay. and yeah, as far as the reach, is the furthest band's coming from. Ghana, so. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. Are you so, serious? Yeah, so serious. global talent. Coming to Garden yeah. City. Coming yeah. to Garden yeah. City, yeah. I exactly. know. How exactly. about that? Exactly. Okay, and then tell us a little more too about some of the artists that will be here, like that will be performing. And then there's also other things happening in addition to that. But first yes. though, the music again. Yes, we've got two big stages set up and then utilizing other venues, much like Tree Fort. Yeah. And um, the main stage we've got, all kinds of awesome acts from all over. A lot of, um, I'm really excited about Automatic from LA mm -hmm. and Dead that are D-E-H-D. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> um, and many more. There's also a lot of locals. Yeah. Like this is kind of a festival for the Treasure Valley. I love that. Yeah. Okay, and then in addition to the music though, there's other things that people can enjoy. Yeah, there's been a lot of action with the Garden City Placemaking Fund with murals in the district. There's gonna be oh, a nice. bunch of live muralists. There's some workshops mm -hmm. for people that wanna get inter that are interested in doing large scale artwork. Uh -huh. um, there's some talks about Garden City and uh, some of the creative placemaking that, that they're doing there. There's some food and uh, beverage tasting e-events. So. All right, I like that. Food and beverage yeah. always yes. goes hand in hand at a music festival, right? Yeah. And education opportunities though, how cool is that? Yeah. A chance to really yeah. learn some of that mural art, which has become mm -hmm. such, um, su such a part of our community, especially mm -hmm. in downtown Boise. Yeah. So great to see this also over in Garden City. So now if people are, want to attend though, because this is over the weekend, mm -hmm. right? The 24th, is this a multi-day event, a one-day event? Yeah, it's three days. It starts on Friday, starts the 23rd, on Friday. yeah, and well. goes through Sunday, the 25th. And you can find the tickets and schedule and everything at the theduckclub.com slash flipside. Okay, and is this something that you uh, suggest people look at in advance or can they show up and also oh, get tickets on location? Both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Got I mean, it. also just pop down, see what it's like, come check out um, some of the music and uh, you can easily buy a ticket right there at box office. All right, so we yep. found out that Megan is looking forward to dead mm -hmm. mm. with an H. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it, what mm -hmm. are you looking forward to? Um, I'm thinking there's this guy, Delicate Steve, that's coming to town a bunch. I'm oh, excited yeah. that he's coming in. A lot of the local talent is, is really great. Mm -hmm. There's a great band called Deluxe, kind of a dancey, uh, I don't know how it, yeah. Fun. Uh, Fun disco stuff. There's like yeah. disco-y yeah. stuff. I'm excited about that band from Ghana called Wazumbians. Cool. And, um, yeah. Off and locals, that we locals. got Blix, is yeah. like an awesome um, band that's kind of coming up. And Neocentrics, they're fun. Yeah. Um, Floating Witch's Head, which Eric is also <laughs> in. Yeah. Oh, no kidding! Yeah. Yeah. You're there a musician! Go. I'm doubling us, yeah. Oh, no yeah. kidding! Yeah. Double right. beard. We're wearing two hats here. Yes. Um, yeah, and there's also like this great band, this like kind of neo soul, psychedelic soul band called Monophonics from mm -hmm. California, R really great. And then Built Spill, who just put out their new record, yes. that are from here, ending their tour on Sunday. Yes, so, looking yeah. really forward. Yeah. Yes. Well, both of you, yeah. thank you so much. And again, where do people go so they can learn more? TheDuckClub.com/slash/flipside. Wonderful. And also, we're super excited because we do have an artist here in studio, Chelsea, yeah. who will also be performing at yes. the Flipside Festival. But she's going to give us a little sneak peek of an acoustic performance here in studio in just a little bit. So make sure you stick around for that because we have a lot more to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break.